this is Dr. Ken Meyer, and this is How Wide for Imagination Tutorials Help Electrotechnology Students Learn. Wide for Imagination comes from my PhD research into what hinders and what helps electrical students learn physics. To start, many students don't understand that they are learning science, let alone the physics. I'd like to think that Wide for Imagination approach is a blend of Albert Einstein and Nikola Tesla. The tutorial approach is a bit different, a bit out of the box, just like Einstein. The physics and our approach to learning is very strong imagination approach and ability, just like Nikola Tesla being able to envisage physics in his head. Wired for Imagination has five elements, and I've used a five-point star as a metaphor with the student as the focus to explain this. The first element is the cognitive toolbox videos. The second is the theory videos. Element three are exercise tutorial videos. Number four are the skills practice demonstration videos. And finally, element five are our assessment videos. So let me explain each of these in just a little bit more detail quickly. The student. Learning is video based. I dislike reading and I find most of my students simply don't read. The content is based around a textbook called Electrical Principles for those who do like to read. The video approach gives the student the ability to self pace. They can go faster or they can go slower as required. The video approach also makes most of the video interactive. Students can play, listen, watch, fast forward, replay sections at will. Cognitive Toolbox videos. There are 17 Cognitive Toolboxes. The first eight help build good learning skills. In the centre is imagination and the very distinctive role it plays within the learning of electrotechnology. The second eight Cognitive Tools build upon imagination skills to help students with deep, complex and abstractive concepts. Theory videos. These videos are a sequence of slides that visually and verbally describe the learning in a logical sequence. I use diagrams and pictures as much as possible to make the learning interactive and interesting. The slides and content follow the textbook and cover all the unit topics from the relevant national training package. The students can interact with the content by following along in the textbook they can also fast forward, pause, replay as required. Exercise tutorial videos. The exercise tutorials are applied physics using maths as a modeling system. The exercise is an opportunity for a student to self assess. Also, the exercises can be used as an interactive worked example. This is very powerful. Questions are posed, hints are given, opportunities to pause then not only answers given, but full worked explanations. The exercises are similar to those found in most of the student unit workbooks. And again, interactive, as students can play, pause, go back over and control the video at will. Skills practice demonstration videos. These are real actual physics in action. Circuits are explained in diagrammatic form and then explained again with real components in as to how they are actually connected. Measurements are made and explained. All the experiment and activity observations again are explained. Also, they can fast forward, play, rewind and relook at parts of the video. Assessment videos. The unit assessment covers the national unit topics topic by topic. The assessment has two step learning process of question, hint, and then fully worked and explained answer. The assessment questions are posed from a competency based perspective where the student to gain success must answer all the questions correctly. Again, they can go over question after question after question, pause, play, rewind, etc. 
Wired for Imagination is a subscription website. The site has a couple of free sample videos so students can get a feel for how the site operates. There are three subscription levels available. There are semester one, or one semester I should say, one term, or one month. So please visit Wired for Imagination, and it's spelt W-I-R-E-D, the number four, imagination.com. Have fun learning. This has been Dr. Ken.